currently on the screen is the International Space Station doing its uh, morning flyovers of the Australian and South West Pacific regions. Hopefully uh, this afternoon uh, I might be able to capture the uh, space station uh, flying over what is now Tropical Cyclone Iris. This particular recording was to the southeast of where Tropical Cyclone JC is, which at this point in time is a Cat 1 system. And for Monday, the 2nd of April, welcome to another update from the Force 13th Australia Asiana channel. And for the next uh, couple of minutes, a little look at what is now Tropical Cyclone Cat 1 Iris. Uh, her life uh, up to a few hours ago. The Tropical Cyclone Warning Centre here in Brisbane has uh, issued their first cyclone bulletin around quarter past 11 Eastern Standard Time. Daylight saving is finished in the southern states. At 10 a.m., Tropical Cyclone Iris Category 1, Central Pressure 995 millibars, was located at Renault over the Coral Sea, 16 decimal 9 degrees south, 148 decimal 7 degrees east, which is about 310 kilometres east of Cairns and 330 kilometres northeast of Townsville, moving southwest at 13 kilometres an hour. Tropical Cyclone Iris we developed in the Coral Sea off the tropical uh, Queensland coast a few hours ago and it's expected to continue moving southwest for most of today before slowing down overnight and Tuesday uh, she's expected to turn east and move away from the Queensland case. It may develop further but is not expected across the Queensland case. Damaging wind gusts, heavy rain, fall are possible about coastal and island areas between about Wollison and Serena as the cyclone makes its closest approach to the case. A severe weather warning has been updated by the Bureau of Meteorology. Uh, the next advice will be uh, 1700 hours tonight. The Bureau has a gale warning in place for the Townsville coastal region. A strong wind warning for the Cairns Mackay case. They've cancelled the uh, Cooktown case, the Great Barrier Reef Offshore Capricornia case, but they uh, reissue to Gale Warning status the Camp case, uh, Townsville Mackay, the Great Barrier Reef Offshore, and the case. A strong wind warning will be in place for the Capricornia case, so that one has actually been, uh, I think, reissued. A uh, flood watch remains in place. The Bureau will update that uh, at 1300 hours today. Severe weather warning for damaging wind, heavy rainfall is in force for the Herbert Lower Burdekin Central Coast with Sunday forecast districts. And here is the, uh, the warning centre's first track on the system. Damaging winds, peak gusts in excess 100 kilometres an hour may develop about the coast island and higher terrain within the warning area between Townsville and Serena during Monday evening or Tuesday morning. And we have a look at various models, intensity guidance, and we do know that 
Iris will be upgraded to Category 2 system. Heavy rain may lead to flash flooding expected to develop later today between the Air and Serena. Six hourly rainfall totals 50 to 100 millimetres, slightly with uh, heavy falls up to 150 millimetres. 24 hours totals 200 millimetres. Locations which may be affected Mackay, Possipine, Bone, Townsville, the Palm Island, Early Beach, and the Hamilton Island. Here's the Joy Typhoon Warning Centre's current no chart on the system. Whilst the uh, centre is a few hours uh, behind, uh, Iris has developed 24 hours earlier. Now we look at the GFS model available on the uh, BSCH website. This is from 1300 hours through to the same period to my starting off with instability uh, correction storm probability the wind feature and you can definitely see where the uh, strong wind are going to be. We will continue to bring the uh, latest information when it becomes available. Now this is uh, precipitation, the value is bottom of the screen, right hand side. The Bureau's 12 hourly rainfall across the next 5 days. This is updated every 12 hour, hours. And whilst the Bureau has it to track east and uh, southeast if it uh, comes closer to the Queensland case the picture changes yet again there are similarities in the track to uh, former tropical cyclone Nathan the Himarari 8 satellite view of the western region now we have a look at the Australia ride 12 hourly rainfall total. Rainfall scale, right hand side of the screen. Areas of interest are the blue through to the red. Looking at tracks, starting off with the Navy's NAFGEM. And NAFGEM uh, could be on the money and they have a tracking east and this is the UK Met the UK Met has actually got it right uh, with uh, they indicated a cat 2 system and could it track up into the uh, northern coal sea total accumulated precipitation or water scale bottom of the screen and the area of interest is the yellow and dark brown the bureau's total forecast of rain across the next eight days and we uh, appreciate the support to the AU channel if you have any questions, read any material, 
shown in our videos, feel free to post in the uh, comments section. And listening quietly uh, in the background, I'm actually on a, uh, a call is uh, Nelson over there in New Orleans in the States and uh, my mate Lee uh, up there in Scotland in the uh, United Kingdom. Joy Typhoon Warning Centre, a satellite image of Iris. Precipitable water. This is uh, another look. GFS model. Pivotal weather uh, website. And I'm wondering whether we're going to see another one or two uh, tropical signals on the radar. Just looking at the, uh, the GFS model. I actually haven't had time to look at the uh, models. There are seven or eight that I can actually look at. Upper level divergence is very, very healthy. It's up around 50, 60 knots so to the south of where I was located. Wind shear. Well we know the cold sea is a meteorologist's uh, nightmare and the environment is reasonable at this point in time. The 24 hour shear tendency. Quite a bit of red to the south. And the old 850 millibar vorticity. Now this is another look at accumulated uh, precipitation. This is an, uh, the one that was in a uh, earlier update. I'll be having a look at the latest on this model. And if you'd like to be part of Force 13, here's Nathan. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, which has had a revamp and is still under reconstruction, but take a look. Also, YouTube, of course, if you haven't subscribed, that might be a good idea. Visit Force 13. We're also on Facebook under the same name, of course, and you can like us on there, and you can also follow us on Twitter. Search Force 13 all in text for those. You can also add Force 13 on Skype or my personal account on Discord, Fool 13, at extension 9094.